So what are my thoughts on capital punishment? Now, I've been asked this a few times, actually, but yeah, I'll go ahead and tackle that question. What do I think about capital punishment? First of all, you have to define the difference between capital punishment and execution. See, execution is taking the life of someone who has committed violent and heinous crimes, murders, rapes, um, serial child molestation, whatever you got. They are violent and dangerous. It's not likely that they can be reformed and you execute them so that they'll stop being a public burden as well as a public menace. See, if you're a public menace by running around killing people, doing whatever you're doing, and they take you and lock you up, then the state has to care for you. And the state cares for you by taking tax dollars and using them to food and clothe and house and entertain this guy, keep him busy. So now he's a public burden and he is still victimizing the public through their tax dollars. So if you execute him, you eliminate the problem. But capital punishment is the government saying that we have the authority to take that person's life. And that's where it gets just a little bit sketchy. Yeah, it's still the Terminator mug. I know, I'm sorry. People like to see different mugs, and I have a lot of mugs, but they are still packed up and they are in a storage somewhere. They are not here where I am currently. But I will try to have some more mugs. And I will try not to terminate anyone in the process. So let's look at an example. As I said, the idea of uh, executing someone or capital punishment, as they like to put it, is to take a public menace and eliminate them so they're not a public burden as well. Here's someone that's really famous for this, Charles Manson. We all have an idea of who Charles Manson is. He was a cult leader in the 60s. He was directly responsible for the brutal murders of more than 35 people, including some famous individuals. Some, uh, some actors were involved. And this guy just died in prison, which is why I'm using him as an example. He, sat, he was sentenced to death, but California decided that they didn't want to execute anybody anymore which is fine, but he spent 45 years in prison and you paid for it. This is a guy that they knew committed this crime. He spent 45 years in prison and you paid for it. So he continued to victimize the citizens of California through the use of their tax dollars to take care of this guy for 45 years. Instead of him contributing to society, society uh, contributed to him. And that is what executing someone is supposed to avoid. Now, keep in mind that currently, like right now, it costs nearly $50,000 per inmate per year in California. Look it up, forty-eight dollars to $50,000 a year California spends on each of their inmates. How many inmates are in the California penal system? How much of your tax dollars is going into this? It's a business. Part of the reason why a lot of times I think states and politicians don't like to execute people is because they'll linger in prison and it is huge business. It is a huge business. It's a billion dollar industry keeping people in jail keeping people in prison incarcerating them so in of itself i'm not opposed to a violent dangerous criminal being executed however i am opposed to capital punishment because when it's the government doing it they don't do it for the same reasons it's, is it really 
to protect its citizenry? Is it really to pay this person back in kind for their actions? Is it really to keep this, this public menace from being a public burden? What's the real reason? Or is it for revenge? This is a fine line between justice and revenge, and a lot of people are very blurred on it. There's a lot of people sitting in jail right now that committed a crime that really wasn't that bad. But the punishment doesn't fit the crime. People always want to see somebody suffer for the things that they, that they may have done, but that suffering may not be justified. Is it for politics? A lot of people get executed over politics. Is it as a scapegoat or to make a point of some kind? This happens all the time too. Are you trying to show off because you're executing someone? Why is it really being done? Furthermore, governments are famous for incarcerating people wrongfully. There's a lot of people languishing in prisons all over the world who haven't done anything, who were wrongly convicted, and sometimes they know these people were wrongly convicted, and they leave them sitting in prison anyway. And they have to fight to get back out. They have to fight to prove they're innocent. They're guilty until proven innocent, as opposed to what you'll be told by the government, especially in Western countries. You're innocent until proven guilty in the United States. No, you're not. You're absolutely guilty until proven innocent. Innocent until proven guilty is a fantasy they teach you in public school to make you feel safe. But it's a lie. It's absolutely a lie. So is there true justice in the first place to even justify executing a criminal? And the answer is no. There is no system of justice anywhere on the planet that is so 100% perfect and fair that they can 100% guarantee that they are not going to in execute someone who's innocent. They've got people sitting in prison right now. You see news stories about this all the time. You could find someone every day practically. They've been sitting in jail for years, sometimes decades, and then it's found out that they're innocent and they have to go to court to demonstrate that they're innocent, they can't even just let them go. They have to have another freaking trial. Then they're released. They don't even get a feeble apology. Not that they would want it because the apology would be hollow. Because the, uh, the people in the criminal justice system don't really give a shit. There's people like that all the time. And people have been executed. And there are people sitting on death row who are innocent. So am I for the idea of an execution yes if it's done properly but I'm against it in the form of capital punishment because it can't be done properly it's a little bit of a paradox <laughs> so I mean it it's it's a matter of opinion on that yeah if, if it was perfect if it was perfect and whenever they had somebody on death row 100% yes you know we absolutely know this guy is completely guilty and there's no mistake here and he killed 20 people and so yeah we're gonna put him out of our misery no bias we're not doing it for revenge we're just doing it to move things along I can understand that but that's not how it works the system is too flawed and as long as they can continue to make mistakes and people can be executed unjustly then I cannot justify capital punishment. It can't be trusted. Don't know if that answers anybody's question because <laughs> it's still it's still a little bit confusing um, whether you're for or against. I hope you understand where I'm coming from. I tried to make that as clear as I can. Um, Please remember to like, share, and subscribe if you're a subscriber to the channel and you got something out of it. Please give it a thumbs up. I sure do appreciate it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. Check out some of the other videos. They might surprise you. It's just me and I'm just talking. It's coffee talk, even though this is tea, but whatever. <laughs> Same difference. 
Um, we're just chatting here, folks. If you are able to and you want to take advantage of the PayPal donation link, I would sure appreciate it because YouTube sure does it. YouTube doesn't appreciate uh, smaller content creators anymore and they're drumming us out and every little bit counts and I appreciate anything that anybody can do. I appreciate the subscribers. If you have any comments, put it in the comment section down below. I do try to answer as many as I can and I appreciate the communication. So once again, stay tuned. There's more to come, more to come.